It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs under the lights on Monday night. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and... they got his man complete! A huge play there right off the bat. 49 yards. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. To throw is Jackson. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Six yards in the wrong direction that time. Not only that, but it brings up fourth. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens strike first at three's in. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. They had one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. 
And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Third down and one. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice of them to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Mahomes going to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And here's Matt Ariza now. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. On second down, here's Mitchell. Oh, what a move. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Flowers going to go in motion right. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. Stopped up shy of the 45 despite some pretty powerful running. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. 
from the 44-yard line. Here's second and six. Mitchell now off the option. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? It will get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. From the gun, it's Jackson. Now inside the 25, and he takes it all the way down to the 22. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets in open <laughs> space, and we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Now Jackson to the right side into the hands of Flowers. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. Now it's Jackson. He finds his man complete. That's Flowers. So five yards here, five on the play. And third and eight now. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Trent McDuffie getting the chance to blitz and finishing it off with his sack. But it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. He hit his first, this one from 38. Tucker's kick is good, and that will make it 6 to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals, probably not what they were hoping for. Man, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. So a couple of field goals now. 6-0 our score as the kicks away. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, 
They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Mahomes now on first down. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. I can say this from experience, especially from a defensive back's perspective. There's not many things more terrifying than a toss sweep or a pitch play and all that beef out in front of the runner. Yeah, I had an old coach say three words on those plays, toss or pitch. Set the edge, heard them over and over. A lot of times they roll the edge, and when they do that, that's why you can go for a long way. Second quarter for Merrillhead, it's the Chiefs in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So first and 10 now from the 30. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. Call it a gain of six on the play at its second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. On second down, here's Mahomes. This will be caught by Brown. Now get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now. But you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. And on first and goal, they decided to throw for him, but the coverage was excellent. And he kept holding the ball, hoping someone would shake free. Instead, he's hit and drop. And now, they're not even in the red zone anymore. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. To throw, it's Mahomes. That is caught inside the five. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him, and he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from moving out in front. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they take the lead here at 7 to 6.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep, and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Now an option play on second down. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Jordan Stout now. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. KC's offense ready to take over. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. 70 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed, kills. speed, <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. Extra point by Bucker is on target. And the lead is up to eight. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now Hardy on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Ravens ready to take over. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Now Jackson on first down. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Jackson. He's got it complete. Derek Henry. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try an exceptionally long one. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and that will keep the lead at eight. Well, it might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Mahomes now to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half.
two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal Pacheco is into the end zone touchdown Kansas City and that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two score cushion heading towards halftime now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone and it changes the way you approach the second half as well how you want to do things on offense and your defense feels much better too having that lead Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now Hardy on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. To throw is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Still a ways from the end zone as they come up now on second and goal. Jackson, and he'll go right back to Andrews. The Ravens gonna use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Here's Henry. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Now now is a punter, Jordan Stout. the distance on the punt there and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half and with decent starting field position there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range on first and ten here's Pacheco to about the 40 yard line the Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts and with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second down and eight. Let's 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Mahomes. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sideline. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So we've come upon halftime here in KC with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working well and most importantly partner and yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead they come back out with that lead absolutely NFL coaches we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways but they had to like what they saw in that first half so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 Mahomes going to throw this will be caught once again by Brown. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. He finds his man complete. That's Brown. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it, and the lead swells. It's 28-6. to 6. 
The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. On third down, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on here to punt it away. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Pacheco gets it up the gut, breaks a tackle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. So from the 37, here's second down at a yard. Again, it's Pacheco. Oh, good move. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 
64 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. 3-4 defense, and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing now is Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Kelsey out in the slot right. Here's Mahomes to throw. And Brown's got it for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Ravens' offense back out there. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. A handoff running left, Henry. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action. It's Jackson. They're looking deep here for Flowers. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is taken at the 15. And call that a 
an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. A handoff now for Pacheco. Sheds off the tackle. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 88 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 34-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now here come the Ravens. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. On second down, Jackson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The Ravens on third down. Just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and eight. Jackson going to run the draw. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. That'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Jackson now. A short throw caught by Andrews. Two yards on the pickup there, and that will bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Jackson on second down to the right side into the hands of Flowers. Just a gain of a couple there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now it's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 44-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So now first and 10 in Chiefs' territory at the 44-yard line. Now Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So he stopped for no gain, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. To throw is Jackson. Screenplay setting it up for Mitchell. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Do I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive 
and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. A first down carry for Henry, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Tucker's kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 102 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven forthcoming. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Here's Pacheco once again. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Third down and six. Mahomes now to throw. And 
and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. This second and four. Throwing is Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's knocked to the turf right there at the 46-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Jackson will throw again. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and they will remain well, well behind. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. That is showing an awful lot of confidence in a kicker to try and hit from 61 yards, and this one winds up no good. Yellow. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Well, partner, under the lights in prime time, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere, where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show up. Well, that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.